Today's episode of Lutherville will answer the question, what's the difference between an off-grid house and an off-grid lifestyle? This is a very important distinction because they are very vividly different things. Mm -hmm. An off-grid lifestyle is people who grow their own crops, you know, raise farm animals, and are completely independent. Right, self-sustaining, more like the old school homesteads. Exactly. Whereas an off-grid house is simply the utilities to the house are off the grid. But you're still going to go into town to buy groceries, you're still going to go in there to get vegetables, things like that. So that's the big difference between the two. So as you know, most towns are arranged in a grid-like pattern. In cities all over the world, big and small, wealthy and poor, streets run north to south and east to west. The resulting city blocks are shaped in squares and rectangles. Therefore, your utilities are also in a grid pattern. You have a grid work of pipes, which provides drinking water and removes sewage. You have a grid work of wires, forming an electrical grid, providing electricity, and a telephone grid for communications. When a house is built and connected to these utilities, it is said to be on the grid. Therefore, when someone builds a house that is off the grid, it means that the house is literally disconnected from one or more of those utilities. So in the case of Galatea Meridian, the house is completely off the grid because none of the utilities are provided by a public utility company. There aren't even any paved roads for miles. So that is one meaning of off-grid. Now some people also live an off-grid lifestyle, like the Wilderness Family, those movies that were popular in the 1970s. Anyway, an off-grid lifestyle is living like the original settlers, meaning they don't even venture into the grid of a city for food or supplies. An off-grid lifestyle is being completely self-sustaining, raising crops and livestock and feeding themselves from their homestead. Galatea Meridian is not going to be an off-grid lifestyle. I still plan to buy food at the grocery store, just like everyone else. Mm -hmm. There won't be any farming or gardening. No gardening? Well, maybe, you know, someday caring for a little garden <laughs> would be fun to learn. I could be all Samwise Gamgee, tilling some earth like Mary Lennox. But I'm... <laughs> <laughs> How many people will get that reference? But I, I'm not raising livestock. I'm not aspiring to be a farmer. I just want a peaceful house in the desert. So I hope that clarifies the difference and helps you understand what off-grid means. There can be two very different meanings and living an off-grid lifestyle is far more difficult than having an off-grid house. Lutherville is an educational series inspiring kids and adults to become excited about innovations in science and technology by documenting the design and construction of a Mojave Desert homestead called Galatea Meridian. Witness the crazy story of how Eric Muss Barnes, an unemployed computer geek and struggling novelist, risks homelessness by spending most of his life savings to build an off-grid dream house in the middle of nowhere. Having purchased vast acres of the Old West, can Eric find a stable job and create his home before his money runs out? Take a journey where fortitude and a pioneering spirit continue to forge the American dream on the romantic landscape of the American frontier. Thank you for watching this latest episode of Lutherville. And please be sure to share with all your family and friends. And remember, if your ambitions don't scare you, they aren't big enough. <laughs>